The Cluck and Bell raid was added to the game very recently, and many people have played this raid either doing it aggressively or stealthily. But today, in this video, I will complete the Cluck and Bell raid without killing a single enemy. Let's see if it's possible. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So the Cluck and Bell raid was just added into the game today, and we're going to be trying to do this raid without killing a single person. I haven't touched this raid at all before, so this is also going to be my first time trying to do this raid. But I've looked at videos, and I think I can do most most of it without killing a single person, but I don't know if I can actually complete all of it without killing a single person, but we're going to find out here. So yeah, we're going to head over to Vincent. Actually, before we head over to Vincent, I need to get some frustrations out the way. This is going to be my final kill. Hopefully there we go. I just needed to kill one person. Wow. That sounds really bad to say, but um, yeah, I just need to get that off my chest. That's signaling our last kill that we can get. All right, so we've made it over to the police station and we need to go to talk to Vincent first right here. And yeah, I know this part, we're not killing a single person. We're not going to kill Vincent because we like Vincent. Vincent's a good guy. Okay, we can do this thing, slush fund. Um, I don't know, I, just to make this even more fun, we're going to do all this on hard. I should have got snacks before. You know what, actually, I'm going to do that real quick. I'm going to get snacks before I actually start this up just in case if things really, really go bad. All right, so we're back here. We're going to put this on hard. I don't even know what we're doing here, to be fair. I hope this isn't going to be that difficult, but we'll see how this goes but don't we get a long cutscene yeah we get a pretty long cutscene with us going and talking to vincent all right so we're starting up the slush fund right here we have to go to a money laundering business uh i don't think i can use my oppressor mark ii because this is an actual mission all right so we're gonna be driving my armored karuma right here with the beautiful dr crush orange oh yeah by the way i'm playing this on my season one loser to luxury account and bring it back to the good old days we have the dr crush orange armored karuma oh just so beautiful but anyways we have to go to a money laundering business. I want to see if I can do this either stealthy or I don't think I can. Okay. So that guy's aiming at me. I'm just going to run right past them. Can I just walk in? Let me walk in. Let me walk in. Crap. We really lost half of our health. We just walked right through that. You know, I should have parked my Karuma just right there. Um, there's a guy right there. There's a multiple people right there. Let's just grab the cash. Let's just grab the cash. That guy's going to start shooting at us or they're not. Bro, this is supposed to be on hard mode. Oh, I just realized I shouldn't die. <laughs> I thought there was like a free mode mission like in my head for some weird reason. It's kind of nice that these guys are nice enough to not shoot me while I'm stuck in a washing machine. God, that is so stupid of a joke. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, okay, we need to get out of here. We need to get out of here. Um, Bro, this is on hard. They only took like a fifth of my health. This is easy. Okay, so with this raid, I'm hoping that we can actually go ahead and do most stuff stealthy and not necessarily do what I'm doing right now and pretty much just run as fast as we can and try to collect everything as fast as we can. I hope I don't have to do that, but I don't know. We might have to for a few spots. Okay, there's more people here eat snacks eat snacks run eat snacks run go inside okay yeah not bad dude this is a cakewalk all right let's get stuck in more washing machines we have three more washing machines we have to get stuck in hey hey, hey what 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 no dude pulled up my phone and <sighs> i died i died I died. It's fine. It's fine. It's probably going to happen a lot. I'm assuming I'm going to die a lot. That was going so well. And then for some reason, that guy was literally right next to me and I accidentally pulled out my phone instead of ate snacks. That's my fault, but that's frustrating. Do I have to do that all over again? That's going to be annoying if I have to. <laughs> yeah, I got to do all of that over again. Oh, man. Yeah, this doesn't seem that hard, even with this mission being on hard. Bro, I keep pulling out my freaking phone instead of eating snacks, dude. That pisses me off. Okay, dude, that guy is so annoying that guy needs to stay away from me that guy right there with the do-rag on he needs to like chill out you know let's back up for a second you know where's my personal space wait why are you getting so close to me why i'm next to a washing machine are you that concerned i'm stuck like come on guy okay once again we got all that cash uh that guy is right at the exit you are annoying sir all right once again get back in the car and we're protected in the car nice i ran over that person but i don't think he died so we're still good oh yeah by the way if i do accidentally kill someone by let's just say running them over or anything like that i will kill myself and we'll restart the mission like i'm going to try my best to do all this without killing a single person one of the setups at the end i think is going to be a little bit questionable but i don't know exactly what it's going to entail oh i just ran over that guy is he dead oh no he got up okay he's good he's good okay but bro i'm getting lit up even in a karuma so let me eat some snacks we're gonna eat so many snacks dude okay let's get out right here ow no you 
this first setup is a little bit annoying. At parts, it seems easy. Then at parts, it seems hard. You know, I know this is like unique and everything. And it's kind of cool that we have something new in the game. But like at the same time, why do we have to steal money to set up a raid? Like I'm sitting on roughly like 1.5 million. I think I have enough money to like, you know, just pay the setup costs like out of pocket. Unless they don't want money to be traced. Maybe that's what it is. I wasn't really listening to Vincent. Not going to lie. Okay, let's head inside. Okay, good, good. We didn't die at that point like how we did last time. All right, let's go straight to a washing machine. All right, good. Let's start collecting cash. Okay, we collected all the cash. Let me eat some snacks. So we have to exit the money laundering business and I need to get in my room quick. Nah, there's a, there's a guy with a shotgun there. No, you, come on. <laughs> Dude, it's so annoying. I walk out of the building. I see a guy with a shotgun and then another guy with an AR. And I think I got mowed down by the guy with the AR. Bro, that sucked. We were so close to being done, I think. Like, I've watched this setup be done, but I wasn't paying too much attention. Wait a minute. Oh, 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 we're at a checkpoint. We got a checkpoint. I have the cash. Oh, <laughs> we got a checkpoint. Let's just go. <laughs> nice. So now all we have to do is just deliver the cash to Vincent's lockup. And I think that's it. Uh oh, I just ran over someone. Is she dead? She's dead. Damn it, she died. I have to stay true to my word. I have to stay true to my word. I am a man of my word. Oh, uh, here's a homing missile. Nice. There we go. I accidentally killed her because I was a terrible driver. That's on me. That's on me. That's accountability right there. All right, so we've made it to Vincent's lockup without running over anyone this time. All right, there we go. Mission passed. How much money do I get? Oh, wait, then why didn't I do it on hard? What? Is it for more XP? We got like 700 XP. You don't get money from that mission? That's interesting. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. So we have to listen to Vincent talk, and then we can go ahead and start up these setups. All right, all right. Uh, we're going to do the next setup, which is breaking and entering. Sure. Hopefully, I'm just entering. I don't need to break anything. Um, I'm going to do this one on hard once again, but I don't really even see the reason why you would do it on hard if you're not getting any cash. But maybe that'll be different with this one. I don't know. We'll see. All right, here we go. We're doing the mission breaking and entering. Uh, I really don't need to be breaking a whole lot of things. I just need to be entering. So we have to go to a laptop or terabyte. I'm going to go to the laptop because the video that I watched about this raid earlier, the laptop seemed pretty easy. I'll go there first. I'm kind of confused on this. Like it says go to terabyte or laptop. Like it sounds like we could do both, but could I just do one? I would like to just do one, just make things quicker and easier on myself. And I think laptop, we're not going to deal with any enemies. I'm pretty sure. I think with a terabyte, if I remember correctly, we're going to have to shoot out a drone, which I don't want to pull out a gun to kill a drone. All right. So right now we're looking for a clucking bell cut. And we're looking for a Cluck and Bell cup because right next to the Cluck and Bell cup, there's going to be a laptop. And that's the laptop we need. All right, game, you're really starting to piss me off. I think I've been to every location but two. I've seen no cup. No cup. I have one more location I can go to. Game, where is the cup? There's no threat of me, like, killing anyone. But at the same time, I need to find a cup. All right, I literally just walked around here for a second time. I still have not found a Cluck and Bell cup. I did find some hot dogs, though. Bro, where's the cup? I just need a cup. Like, I'm stupid. I'm looking for a freaking cup. Oh, I found it. I found it. I found it. I found it. Okay, that was annoying. That's a little off to the side from the other locations that I've seen. I have a map up, too, but the map is a little annoying to look at. But there we go. We got ourselves a laptop. There's a guy pissed at us. Oh, he wants to beat me up. I wish I could beat him up, but I can't. Okay, so now they want me to go to the terabyte? Huh? But it said go get the laptop or to the terabyte. This is confusing. Do I have to now? Okay, I'm kind of discussing it with my friend. I think we've come to the conclusion that you definitely have to do both of these. Go to the terabyte and get the laptop, but it was just poorly worded. Okay, now we have to go find a terabyte. Uh, hopefully a terabyte sticks out better than a freaking cup. Okay, I found a terabyte. Now what? Oh, I have to destroy drones. They're not technically people, so we can get away with this. Probably not the best way to do this either. Well, I don't know. This is pretty efficient, though. I just took out both of those drones. How many more drones are there? Oh, they respawn in? Okay. Well, I didn't know that. Yeah, I only watched like a 17-minute video, and that was it. I wasn't like paying that much attention. Oh, dude. Oh, spawn in more, will you? You aren't people, so I can actually pull out my gun and shoot you. Ha 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 Man-made losers. Oh, my God. Just this for the drones am i right no i'm not right i'm wrong who gives a crap they're drones there we go now we can enter the terabyte uh will there be an oppression mark two in the terabyte that'd be nice <gasps> No. Oh, we get a gun. That's so cool. I'm not going to use that gun because I'm not allowed to use a gun. Unless if it comes to drones. I got a hacking device, though. Wait, so why do I need a laptop? I don't even know, dude. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> I should have listened a little more. Oh, oh, I needed the laptop for the route of the train. I do need to get on a train. Okay, we have to take out the cartel to find... No, we have to take out the cartel to find... It. Yeah, we have to take out the cartel to find the key train. The key train? The train key. That sucks. Is there a way around this? Can I, like, call 911 and then they arrive and then they start taking out people? If that works, I'll do that. Calling emergency services, see if this works. If this doesn't work, then I might not have a choice. No, that didn't work. Hmm. Hmm. What am I gonna do? Like, I really, really want to not get a kill. Yeah, I might have to take out someone here, which kind of sucks. Um, you know what? We're gonna do this. This is gonna be my workaround. We're gonna use a gun. I don't even really call it a gun. We're gonna use a flare gun. We're gonna burn people. I'm gonna make sure that guy's dead too. Okay, yeah, there's technically a kill. I feel so icky. I did not mean to kill anyone. And it's such a slow death too. Oh, I found it. Okay, I only had to kill two people. That's a win. And technically, the gunshot didn't kill him. It was the burns that killed him, you know? Like, really, when you think about it, I didn't kill anyone. It was the fire. Okay, but anyways, we have the train key. So now we have to steal the train. I was kind of thinking about this, too. I was going into this one thinking this. Like, this could be a little annoying, this specific one, just because I'm driving a train, and I can't really control, you know, where I drive the train. So I might accidentally run over people. So I might have to do that. Like, this guy right here, I can't go around this guy. Okay, we didn't get run over. All right, we're gonna drive away with the train. I'm so sorry to those two people I had to kill, but at the same time, it was the fire that killed them. It wasn't my gunshot. No, get out, get out, get out, get out the middle of the... See, that was the problem I was having, or that was the problem I was thinking of there being. I can't control them just driving in front of the train, you know? See, like, that guy just drove it right into... See, okay, I'm not counting this part. Like, I tried my best with the first part of this. This one, I just feel like there's no scenario. There's no scenario I can do this without killing anyone. Like, there's literally a freaking helicopter just on the train track. Like, how am I supposed to go around that? I can't. I have to run straight through it. Yeah, don't fault me for that. I'm trying my best here. They're just on the train tracks. I'm trying to go as slow as possible. Okay, I guess that guy didn't technically die, but whatever. The, like, that car, that car was just literally right in the middle of the train tracks. I can't do anything about that. I didn't kill him. He killed himself off of being stupid. You could shoot on the side of the freaking train tracks, you know? Like, you could post up, like, not on my train tracks, so that's their fault. Really, when you think about it, they're getting what they deserve. <laughs> it's just them being stupid. All right, and there we go. Mission pass. All right, so we're jumping into the next setup right here, which is going to be concealed weapons. We don't necessarily necessarily need weapons because we're not trying to kill anyone. I don't know which one I want to do. Like, apparently location B is the best. Well, yeah, location C, I think I'm going to have to kill people, so we're obviously staying away from that. But I'm going to try location A and the reason that I want to do this is because if you go to the same location for this mission and next mission, for the next mission, it's going to be harder. So, let's just say that for this first mission that I'm doing right here, I go to location A and the next mission that we're doing, I also go to location A. It's going to be a little bit more difficult for that next mission because there's guys are going to be a little bit more alerted. Okay, I have to steal a set of weapons and gear. How am I going to do this? Search the gang vehicles. Oh, I could have done this stealthy. Oh, is that what that was trying to tell me? I just rolled just straight up into the middle of this with a Karuma. All right, I need the weapons. Wait, so the weapons in this box thing? I think they are. I think these weapons are in this box. Okay, I kind of lightly ran over that guy. Okay, cool. Got the weapons. Get back in the car. Get back in the car. Okay, get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Okay, so we could go and get the other weapon loadouts, but that is so pointless. You only need one weapon loadout. So yeah, we can deliver the equipment to Vincent's lockup, and then we should be good to go with that. All right, and there we go. Oh, what? Okay, I delivered the weapons, but I'm a little lost. Can I just stop this mission? Like, we already have the weapons that we need. Oh, oh, I have to confirm which loadout I want to use. I got target A. Huh? Did I screw that up? I'm so lost right now. I am so lost. I don't know what is going on. So I'm just going to do a little bit of this number and we're going to restart this. Like I was supposed to like view the text message or something like that, but I don't know. I accidentally deleted the text message. All right. So I'm going to have to steal the weapons and gear once again. Search the gang vehicles trunks to locate the gear. Oh, oh, got it. That's going to be a lot more annoying than this weapons. Okay. So I wasn't doing it right. Okay, I didn't read that part the first time around. Got it. Okay, so the weapons is this box right here. Yeah, that box. There's the weapons. Good. Now I need gear. I need to steal a bag of gear. Okay, I just didn't read that thing at the bottom. Being stupid. Okay, no gear in there. Um, yep, yep. Oh, we shake our head. No, cool. Let's get back in the car. Let's try that again. You know, I accidentally did this for that first car, but I'm gonna do it for this one too. I am just gonna 
push that car out of the way. So then I'll be able to search the car in safety. Bro, this is brilliant. We're so far away from those guys shooting at me now. They're still gonna shoot at me, but it's a lot further away. And there's a gear. Good, that was smart after me being stupid. All right, so yeah, now let's deliver the equipment to the lockup. All right, are we good now? Text Vincent and confirm the equipment. There we go. Okay, I'm being smart now. Confirm. There we go. Okay, that makes much more sense. And there we go. Mission passed. That was confusing, but that wasn't bad as far as like our actual challenge is concerned. Okay, so now we're doing the mission hit and run. And this one's going to be very similar to the last mission where we have three locations that we can go to. But this one's going to be a lot more important to us because this is going to be our getaway vehicle. If we were to go to location A again, like how we did last time, then we'd probably have a tough time just because there's going to be more reinforcements there than a normal time. That's why the first mission I did location A because I want to set up this mission for us to get location B because location B has some fast vehicles. Oh, I need to find and steal a getaway vehicle. I don't know if I could have done this stealthy, to be honest. If I could have, oops. Look at that car right there. It's, it's like bugging out. Hold on, let me see if I can get closer to this. Bro, what is going on? What is going on with this car? Then that guy is like spinning around in a circle. <laughs> Oh, uh, this game is so funny. They've literally blocked it off so perfectly that I can't drive a Karuma up in here. Probably they did that on purpose, which is fair. It's fair. Or at least not through a side entrance. I could... Oh, not even a front entrance either. Oh. See, the problem is I don't know where a getaway vehicle is, though. Here's a vehicle. That guy spawned in the freaking... Good job, game. Uh, how do I get the vehicles? How do I get the vehicles? Oh, oh, wait, wait. It's all coming back to me. Okay, I died. Don't I have to, like, flip a switch or something? I need to look this up because I'm a little lost. Oh, that guy's not bugging out anymore anymore. Bro, bro, da, 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 da. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. I'm chill. I'm chill. I'm chill. I'm chill. I'm chill. Oh, wait, this is a vehicle right here. Okay. This is a vehicle right here. Wait, how am I going to get out of here though? Not like that. I need to eat snacks. I need to have this bar open. I'm running out of snacks too. This sucks. How are we getting out of here? Oh, I just ran someone over. Okay. How? Huh? What? I'm a little lost. I now know where the car is. I don't know how I'm supposed to get out with the car. Hmm. <laughs> there's no way. Or is there a way? No, there's no way. Oh, 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 oh. I just got in. Oh, maybe I can jump. Wow. Do I really have to come all the way back here just to jump this? There's like a little ramp right here. I guess I can do that. Yeah, there's just a ramp right there. I could use that. That seems so unnecessary that there's got to be an easier way than that. That's the way I'm going to do it. If that's the wrong way, then I am sorry. All right, we're going to have to do this quick. So ready, set, let's go. Okay, get in, have snacks up, good driving. Bro, I died so quickly again. Yeah, this is going to be tough without killing anyone. I think it's possible, though. I just got to force my Karuma in, and then we'll just have to go from there. Didn't I, like, ram myself, like, right in here somehow? I don't know. I got, like, crooked, and then I was able to get in that way. I want to try that again. Yeah, another thing is I want to get in with the Karuma so I can move that Granger out the way. Oh, wait, that's the way to do it. Okay, I got to get a jump. Okay, we're in, we're in, we're in. Huge, nice. Okay, yeah, I just want to move this car out the way. This car is a problem for this ramp. Yep, just push it, just push it. Keep pushing it out the way. That's pretty out the way. All right, so now let's try this again. Ready, set, go. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. It's a funny way to get in. It's a funny way. Can I not get in? Shoot, that... Can I really not get in vehicles if I have my snack menu open? Come on, game. Come on. Bro, I am stuck in this spot, dude. This is so annoying. Dude, this freaking car just does not want to... Okay, I'm going to have to just go for it, which sucks. I'll go this way, run past a guy, eat some snacks along the way. Health is already full. Found the getaway vehicle, eat some snacks. No, that's not eating snacks, okay? Go. Peace and cues, peace and cues, peace and cues, peace and cues, peace and... I need to not eat P's and Q's. That's another thing. God, it's just, ugh. I hate how P's and Q's are at the top of that snack menu. Dude, I'm gonna get this. I'm getting this. This is definitely possible. I just need things to go my way. I need to not eat P's and Q's. Okay, ready, set, quick, 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 quick. Snacks, E. cola, E. cola, E. cola. We gotta keep, I gotta drive like a freaking normal person though. What did I just say? Okay, we're gone. This is the best we've gotten. It's some nice pipe. Uh, so now we just have to deliver it to the garage. Okay, I think we're good. Oh yeah, another thing about this mission too that I was thinking even before all the crap that just went down. Yeah, we're not in an armored Karuma anymore. The armored Karuma is really saving me for a lot of these missions. Oh, we have to actually repair the getaway vehicle. I can see why. There's like no windows in this thing. Repair it. Very nice. There we go. Yeah, but there's still enemies outside. So what's the point of us repairing it? Oh, okay. Never mind. They're not attacking us. All right. All right. So we 
we delivered a getaway vehicle. We could get the other getaway vehicles, but we're not doing that. So we need to text Vincent and confirm the getaway vehicle, which we're using that to confirm. And we just need to leave the garage and should be mission pass. All right, and there we go, mission pass. I think we have one more setup to go and then we have the finale to do. But this next setup is gonna be our most important one. All right, we're jumping into probably our most important setup right here, disorganized crime. So we're gonna have to hack a van first. And this is gonna be a little bit unfortunate because if we take out the people inside of this van, that'll make it a little bit easier for us during the finale if we want to do this stealthy, which hopefully I can. But yeah, we can't get that because we're not allowed to kill. Okay, yeah, so there's delivery vans right here. We need to get close to these vans so we can hack them. And we're pretty safe, or we're actually really safe because we're in an armored Karuma. There you go, one van hacked, so let's go get the other one. Yeah, Vincent's telling me now that we can get Cluck and Bell overalls. I would really like some nice overalls from Cluck and Bell, but I can't because the way I have to acquire them, I have to kill. And killing is against my DNA right now. There we go, hacked another van. So now this next part is gonna be a little bit interesting. In order to do it stealthy, you need to do it a very particular way. I'm gonna try to wing it, try to go off the top of my head, but I might have to, you know, restart a few times. Okay, we're entering the garage. Garage. I hope this is actually possible. So we need to sabotage the delivery trucks, which we can do that. Okay, so go ahead and sabotage. How am I going to get that truck? No, how am I supposed to get this truck? There's a guy right here. I saw you like kneel down like earlier. Can you do that again? Bro, this is the most worthless mechanic. Oh, he's leaning down now. I mean, kind of. Yeah, 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 this might be, yeah, this is going to be interesting. Oh, whew, whew. Okay, thing is, I have to do that. I have to sabotage the trucks. Hmm, 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 hmm. I might have to do this the aggressive approach, but not kill anyone. Because I don't think stealthy can work. Here, let's try this. Let's try this. Let's get like right next to this guy and then sabotage him just right next to him. Yeah, yeah. Here, let me help you with that. <laughs> that was. <laughs> we didn't, like push him out the way. Oh my god, dude. Dude, what if I actually like push him? No, no, no. What if I like, actually do that? I might try that this next time. If that doesn't work, then we might just have to can that approach. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So I want to push him. Move. No, don't stop looking at me. No, what did I? Okay, I actually kind of think I can push this guy. I don't know why I have a weird feeling I can push him. I think I can push him far enough where I can go ahead and sabotage that truck. Hopefully, that's the only guy I have to do that with. All right, as Patrick would say push bro no 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 you had your hand glitched through a freaking door there's no way there's no way push get away from him for a second okay okay this might be impossible by doing it that way who then i'm gonna need to eat a lot of snacks like a lot a lot of snacks all right new approach is we're gonna do this stealthy as long as possible and then when it comes to that guy we're gonna just get spotted oh there's another guy too i didn't even realize there's another guy at that truck bro imagine this guy just doesn't notice that i'm like about to sabotage this truck no he definitely does <laughs> so hold on hold on hold on hold on dude you're being a little annoying this is tough. Hmm. I want to try something. I want to try something. I'm going to pull out a gun. What if we use a flare gun? Oh, I was about to say, how in the world was that stealthy? Okay, this is very interesting. Okay, I got to really think about this because I don't know if I can actually survive this. Definitely not on hard mode. Hmm. I might have to dumb it down for me. Okay, I'm going to put this on easy. Then we're going to try that same approach again on easy. All right, let's try this again. We're going to put it on easy. So we are going to be doing the aggressive approach without killing anyone, essentially. At least that's the game plan. All right, so we're back here. It's on easy mode. So yeah, these first two trucks, I would just like to take out now. So now this is where things are going to get fun. So let's go over here and let the fun begin. Dude, that guy has a pistol. That guy doesn't have like an AR. Oh, this is going to be... This is great, dude. Okay, I still need to eat snacks, though. This is great. This is... Okay, I'm still almost dead. Okay, okay, this is a lot better. Still tough. Yep, see, still top. But we have two lives also. Find the lockers containing key cards. Okay, I have a rough idea. Eat snacks, eat snacks. Oh my god, dude. I think I just realized we might run out of snacks. <laughs> oh yeah, I think I'm actually very close to running out of snacks still. I died, so I think my snacks reset. Okay, I have a drill. I already picked up the drill. Or can I do things out of order? That would be so awesome if I can do things out of order. 
we would just start drilling and they don't care oh yeah watch out for guards that will hear you let's find out how good the hearing is oh we can't watch him okay i'll watch him on the mini map wait no shot they still don't hear <laughs> uh oh there's a guard walking in yeah okay okay um i'm trying to wrap my head around things for a second i want to restart this i want to restart okay i'm gonna try to do what i did last time again problem is i think i'm gonna have to kill those guys i think the problem is i'm gonna have to go over here at some point and drill over there it's just gonna happen okay let's start drilling okay stop 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 stop, stop, stop. that guard's coming back the one that found us last time i'm not here i'm not here dude i'm not here please go away bro bro bro, bro. there's so much more in life you could do instead of just standing there God, I don't want to do this. I might have to break my own rules here. I think I'm going to have to. I think the finale is just going to be way too hard. Also, if we have to do it aggressively. Problem is, I got to kill all these guys quick. Ready, set. Okay, not bad. Okay. Yeah, all right. So I'm going to try to kill as little people as possible. So I had to kill those three. I think I'm going to have to kill more for sure. Nice. There you go. I got a key card. Okay, so all I needed was a key card. I don't have to keep drilling, which is good. So I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to have to kill these guys by the trucks. There's no way around it if I want to do this stealthy. So take out that guy. Sabotage his truck. And then there's another guy I definitely have to take out. And I might have to take out a few more guys because we have to take out the CCTV. Anyways, yeah this guy has to die so we can sabotage his truck without getting alerted so goal right now is just to take out the minimum there we go now it says we can leave the cartel's garage that's not the case we have to take out the cctv so i'm gonna take out the camera first take out that guy then that guy then that guy i think we're good i think that's all i need to take out i'm pretty sure so then we need to wipe the cctv footage okay okay i think that's the minimum i think that is the minimum amount of people that i can take out i think i did that as best as I could. So yeah, I apologize for not actually, you know, doing it without killing anyone, but that was the minimum. If I want to do it stealthy, which, you know, like I said, the aggressive approach, I think it's just going to be way too difficult for my current circumstances. So yeah, we're going to try to do it stealthy during the actual heist. And on the ways that I've seen to do the finale, the people that I've watched have taken out guys. I'm going to see if I can avoid that. I'm going to really see if I can avoid that during this finale. And then if there's no way I can avoid it, then I'll take them out. Kind of like what I did just now. We'll find that out pretty shortly. All right, and there we go. Mission passed. Unfortunately, I had to take out some people. I got $2,000. Oh, it's because of the cash that I took from those lockers. All right, here we go. This is the finale right here. Can I do this without killing a single person? All right, so right now we're inside of this box. We're inside of this crate. And why? Okay, of all the places, why would we put here? I mean, it's nice for us, but okay. So go to a cola storage area. Okay, we open the shutter door. Uh, oh, oh, that guy's moving. Hold on. Sorry. I was about to say this guy is in my way. There's this guy right here. And then there's a guy right there. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see if I can just sneak around. Sneaky, sneaky. Moron. All right, cool. Let's keep moving. <laughs> oh, this is how this heist is going to have to go, I assume. Shoot, there's a guy. There's a guy. Shh, shh, shh. See? Okay, yeah, this is annoying. Please, please, please. Get away. Get away. Get away. Get away from me. Look how close the cone of vision is. Wait, I'm being stupid. This might be my opportunity. Never mind. <laughs> now, we're doing this on hard, so I can just die and then let's try that again. There is very small windows very very small windows but there are windows i feel like i'm gonna have to watch this cutscene so much which is gonna be a little annoying because it's kind of a long cutscene it's a cool cutscene but uh it's gonna get boring <laughs> for a while okay i got past that guy again now i gotta get through here this is gonna be my issue I go up and around that guy that guy doesn't <laughs> nice they're gonna go oh but there's a guy right there you see what i'm seeing yeah, there's this guy how am i gonna get around that guy yeah there's no way there's no way i can go around that before i go into quitter mode let me attempt to go around. But first, there's a guard walking right past me. Hopefully, he still doesn't see me. He's chilling right here. Good. Let's go here. So I'm safe right here. But I would like to go behind this thing. <gasps> I did it. I did it. Oh, my God. Huge. But now I got this. So that guard that's in mostly green that's walking now, he's going to be walking. <laughs> Duh. And then that guy right there. Oh, that guy moves too. Huge. Oh, but he goes back and forth. Bro, you got to start moving. You got to move. Run, 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 run. Oh, we made it. We made it. Okay, okay. So this is a storage area. Let's insert the key card. Okay, let's enter. Let's enter. I don't know how this is going to go. Ooh, I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this. I might have to kill these guys. Mm, yeah, that guy's literally just posted right right there there's no way around that one maybe around that guy but that's it so i'm gonna have to take out that guy and then i'm gonna have to take out that guy i'm gonna try to leave this guy 
Nice. Okay. So I think we have to take eight of these bundles of cola. I think. Maybe it's six bundles. I don't know. Who cares? We got four bundles there, but that looks like two thirds full. All right. So let's exit. Oh, uh, hopefully there's no guards. It's just right outside. Okay. They're walking away. That's good. All right. Next problem, though, is I'm going to have to maneuver around that guy. Well, or do I? There's a bin right here. I can just squeeze around. Well, that was a lot easier than what I thought that was going to be. And we're already at our next lock up. I think I'm going to have to take out this guy because he's looking directly here. And then as long as this guy doesn't move, I think we're okay. So I'm going to leave him for now. But this guy, he's got to go. That guy's got to go for sure. And we have to steal some cola. Luckily, my loadout already had a crowbar. So that was nice. If you don't have this specific loadout, you have to go find a crowbar. But that's not hard. I picked this loadout because it's the worst one. But anyways, we have to search this crate. This one's technically the closest to that guy, which is cool, I guess. Oh, but there we go. We have the cola. Now we have to exit the storage area. I don't know what I'm doing now, to be honest. To go to the office. No, we got through here earlier. How can I not get through here now? Go here. Oh my God, dude. That is scary. No, I didn't mean to do that. No, 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 no. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. I've proved I can already go around that guy. All right, anyways, I can get around this guy. I can get around that guy right here. I just don't want to have to restart this. We've gone so far. I've already proved I can get around that guy. There's a guard moving right there. Let me try to hurry up and get to the corner. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Sorry, sorry, no. Are you kidding me? No. Okay, I have to wrap my head around this part. How am I going to do this part stealthy? That sucks, dude. I got so far. That part, I might have to kill someone. <gasps> oh, we spawned here. That is so massive. I thought we didn't get checkpoints. Well, the problem is there's this guy that's posted right here. I think I'm going to have to kill this guy. Yeah, I'm going to have to. There's no way. There's no way. I, I think he just... Oh, God. Hold on. I got to run. I got to run for a second. There's no way I can go about that without killing that guy. Shoot, I screwed. Th Wait, did you see a dead body? I think that's what he did. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so we have to kill that guy. The problem is, I think I'm gonna have to kill that guy. I think I'm gonna have to because that guy notices this guy's dead. Then I have to kill that guy. That guy's just in the way. Okay, are we good? I'm hoping that's all the people I need to take out. Can I sneak past this guy? Oh, I need a key. Shh. Shoot. Okay, I do think they actually see dead bodies. I think. I don't know. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to kill myself at some point, but I just want to find the keys. I need to know where the keys are for future attempts. Oh, there are the keys. Okay. Keys are right here at the beginning where we spawn it. All right. All right. I'm ready for that. Uh, Let me, I guess, just burn myself to death. I don't have anything else to kill myself with. Okay, there we go. All right. So I know where the gate keys are now. I think I'm going to have to kill that one guy. Jeez. There's just so many ripples to this now. I want to go over here. And then we're going to go grab the office keys, which are right here. Then let's head back over here. Ooh, nice slide. I saw that. And then we're going to hide. We're going to let that guard walk by. Now we can go in here. Now we can go over here. And now this is where I have to take out people. And I have to take out that guy. I have to take out that guy because he's pisses me off. I have to take out that guy. I have to take out that guy. And then I think it's everyone I have to take out. So now, can I unlock the door with this guy being so close? Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> we're good for right now. So now we have to hack the office computer. So now I need to find a safe code. But let me sneak past this guy again. Excuse me, sir. So now we just have to find the computers. Oh, this is the computer? That's literally all I have to do. Okay. Uh, we got three out of three safe code datas acquired. Okay, excuse me, sir. Once again don't mind all right so let's get into the safe but it's a safe combination oh it's on the hacking device okay 72 59 90 okay there we go got the cash okay we're still stealthy but the alarms are going off uh the way i have to leave is through this way they're saying i have to use this exit and this guy's in my way maybe i can work some magic here i mean if anything goes wrong i'll just smack him just hold on excuse me can you like push can you like Okay, no, no, no. You got alerted. All right, not a problem now. So that had to happen. Uh, so now we can leave the Clucken Bell factory. Now I have to go get our getaway vehicle. But the problem, there's a lot of guards near my getaway vehicle. <laughs> oh, this guy's on the phone. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can just climb into the bed of the truck and jump out here. <gasps> yeah, and then we can just walk around that guy. And then there's this guy right here. I think I can get around this guy by just doing this. Oh, but there's a guy walking. Hold on, I gotta hide from the walking guy. I think there's gonna have to be one guy that I'm gonna have to take out. If you can't tell, there's a guy right in front of the garage.
damage. I think I'm gonna have to take out that guy. So I'm just gonna take him out now. Okay, good. We've made it to here. Let's enter. Now we're in the getaway vehicle. So now let's get out of here. So yeah, all we have to do is just deliver the loot to Vincent's lockup. Like I know there's some enemies that are like right on the train tracks. So I'm gonna go around them like a smart person. Yeah, screw it. Why don't we just take a visit to Mount Chile? Oh, geez, that was a little steeper than I thought. Help, 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 help. <laughs> no, no, we're going right towards an enemy. Okay, okay, let's stop messing around. Let's just get around the cops. Then we can just ride the train tracks all the way back. Okay, we're past a lot of cops. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get back on the road now. And then I'm gonna just pay attention. I just wanna make sure no cops see me like there's a cop. No, game. Fine, we'll go to the beach. I'm trying to make sure no cops see me, but, you know, they're driving on this big interstate. Bro, oh my god, this is getting so frustrating. They're riding the train tracks. <laughs> yeah, these cops are being a little annoying. Some of them are just driving on the train tracks, so I can't, like, easily escape them. Oh, there's a train, though. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Ah, uh, we're just gonna have to book it at this point. Sorry, Vincent. I was doing my best to really, really not get caught by cops, but my god. Goodness, they're spawning in the most annoying spots. All right, we finally made it back to Vincent's lockup. All right, and there we go. Mission pass. We made $500,000. We're going to be getting some first-time bonuses, too, and whatnot. Yeah, we got $250,000 for doing it for the first time. Well, that was me trying to complete the Cluck and Bell raid without killing anyone, and unfortunately, we weren't able to complete that entirely, but I think we completed it by killing the minimum amount of people, which the finale mission, we had to kill a little bit more people than I really thought we could. But still, we snuck around a lot of people and kind of made some people look very, very stupid and honestly proved that some of these guys at the Cluck and Bell factory should be fired. Make sure you check out this video right here if you want to see just how to survive GTA online.